First game, second set now. We'll see if Lindsay Davenport can somehow pull it together. She's going to have to get off to a pretty good start here in this second set to get back in this match. That's right. Yes. Well, that's more like it. Stepping in inside the baseline. Giving herself a little room over the net there. She was netting a lot of balls that first set. Sets up a nice topspin forehand. Mm, just wide. Sharapova continuing to go for winners off that return. Davenport now quickly to 40 love. She'd love to hold. Get off to a one love lead here. And a big serve from Davenport, and she plays one of her best games. Beth and both of these ladies, interesting story about uh, their coaching background. Well, that's right. Um, Sharapova's current coach is Robert Lansdorp. And as you know, Lansdorp has coached many great former players, um, including Tracy Austin, Pete Sampras, um, and now, he is the coach of Maria Sharapova. And Lindsay Davenport used to have Robert as her coach. And for the past few years, she's been coached by Adam Peterson. So sometimes that's interesting. I mean, it can kind of maybe get in your mind a little bit if your former coach is with your sure. opponent. I yeah. you think maybe they'll give him some tips. But she's the number one player in the world, Lindsay. And uh, I, I think she'll, she won't be thinking about that kind of thing. You don't think Robert uh, gets with uh, Maria and says, now listen, I remember when Davenport was having trouble moving to her left. So always hit the ball to that two-hander. Well, he may say that, but she doesn't have any huge glaring weaknesses. That's the problem. I mean, she's number one in the world. So. Well, if Robert Lansdorf is watching on the tennis channel, or who knows, he may be over in Tokyo. We will, we will see. Sharapova is certainly making great strides these days. That's right. Yes, Davenport. Shot. And Maria also has uh, Michael Joyce now as her traveling coach. And that has worked out well because Michael, who is a former player as well, um, was a protege of, of Roberts as well. So right. that has worked well for them. Since last year in Zurich, I think October 2004, they started traveling together. Michael Joyce, one of the fine tour players. Oh, and Davenport now starting to really drill some winners. She really sets up well here, puts all her weight into it, just brushes up through the ball for an unbelievable angle. Winner from behind the baseline. Beautifully stroked there. Love 30 now, a chance early for Davenport here in the second set. That will go long. And now Lindsay Davenport with triple break point. That's a fault. That's a let. They are using the live net court judge. You can see to the right of your picture there. I'm glad to see the live net court judge back. I hate that electronic <laughs> stuff. Much more fun to have the live body out there. Yes. Well, this time again, Maria knocking the ball back before Lindsay really even gets back yep. to the center of the court. She's very effective on this fast, fast surface. The wrap still on the left leg of Davenport. It's wide second serve opportunity now for Lindsay. No, a let and a double fall. And so Davenport with an early break. To love. And that's just what she'll have wanted to do to get back into this match after not a great showing that first set. 
She has started very well, knocking off the two-hander. Just wide. As we mentioned, she's won this tournament four times out of the last seven years. When you play in a certain place, you, you somehow have like a vibe when you go there. And if you have a lot of confidence from playing there in prior years, it just sort of comes out again. So she's not going to want to give up this match easily. she want to dig down. That's good. Yes. She's really finding her range now. <laughs> wow. That is a temporary stand you see right there. There's that kind super, of half volley. Yeah, super length from Davenport mm. on the second to last shot there really set that up. Quick hands from Sharapova though. 30 love. Let and a fault on the men's side, Beth, the guy who half volleys so well from the baseline, Andre Agassi, because he crowds it so well. And to watch her do the same thing is impressive. It is impressive. And she has big, long strokes, too, so she really has to shorten those up a bit when the ball's so deep. She's got such impeccable timing, as does Agassi. That's the amazing thing about her win at Wimbledon, like you say, to shorten your strokes on that grass court over there. That's going to go long. Davenport at game point, and Lindsay Davenport opens up with ace number two, 164 kilometers, and a very impressive start for Lindsay Davenport here at the Torre Pan Pacific Open. We're on the Tennis Channel bringing you championship women's tennis. Due to time constraints, we move ahead to action later in the second set. Well, Beth, these two played a brilliant match last year in the semis of Wimbledon. Well, that's right, and Maria Sharapova was down a set and 3-1 before coming back to win that match, and then, of course, going on to take the title at Wimbledon. I'm sure Lindsay uh, would not like to think back about that match, having a big lead and letting it slip away. Yeah, that could have been a heartbreaker. Big hand for both players as they cross over. Lindsay Davenport has somehow clawed her way back into this match, leading 4-1 now in the second set. It's best of three for the title. Sharapova serving. The 4-1 score, a little deceptive, huh, Beth? Only one service break. Yes, that's true. It's also surprising to see Lindsay even in the lead with the way she's moving. I mean, she's hitting the ball beautifully, but looking a little hampered by that leg injury. Sharapova showing some real emotion for the first time when she misses that two-hander. Not happy at all. She speaks English very well. I'm wondering if she talks to herself in Russian or English. <laughs> well, that's true. She's been in the States since she was seven years old, came over from Russia with her father, Yuri. Had to leave mom behind for a couple years. She finally joined them a couple years later. Oh, Lindsay going for it all down the line. Catches the tape. 15 all. Spent a lot of that time training at the Boletary Tennis Academy and still considers Nick one of her career advisors. She faces herself out of Bradenton, Florida. Nick Boletary, what a piece of work. <laughs> he, he, he never is at a loss for uh, words, I can tell you that much. Uh, he's a great guy to work with. I love seeing him every year at the U.S. Open. It's over the baseline, 30-15 now for Sharapova. Trying to hold here and stay in this second set. And when she came over, she was so young. I was talking to her agent, and I said, you know, how did she, how did she go to school, or did she even go to school? What was the deal? And her mother actually homeschooled her. Mm. 
and um, still teaches her a lot, teaches her in Russian, but she now is taking classes on the internet through Keystone National High School. And her agent says she plans to do college classes as well. Wow. So she's just a junior in high school. It's hard to believe that, <laughs> all she's experienced. Sharapova holds. Now a crucial game for both players. Davenport serving up 4-2 with a break. Wants to hold and get to 5-2. Sharapova would love to break right here and get back in this second set. Got to ask you, Beth, I love to ask my analysts, the seventh game of any set, what do you think? Always a big game? From the time I was a youngster, all my coaches always told me seventh and the ninth game are the biggest games in the set, so really crucial. I am glad to hear you say that. <laughs> I once asked the great Stan Smith that same question. He said, are you nuts, Bear? They're all important games. <laughs> <laughs> Deep serve from Davenport. Now Lindsay up 30 love, trying to hold here. Slide it out on this carpet. It's worked well for both of them. Look how far out of court Sharapova is. Even if she makes the return, Lindsay's got a wide open court. It's true. And Davenport, a very quick game. Four quick points. She holds serve. She now leads 5 2. When we return, Sharapova serves to stay in the second set. Five games to two now. Lindsay Davenport up in the second set from the Torre Pan Pacific Open in Tokyo. And Maria Sharapova steps up to serve and try and stay in this second set. A winner. Beth, I know you've been in touch with the Sharapova troops. How popular is she? She's super popular. I mean, since she won Wimbledon, she's been requested to do over 300 photo shoots. She's only done one. That just shows her focus. She really doesn't want anything to distract her from her goal of being number one in the game. And um, the one she has done, she's done in her off season, not at a tournament or anything like that. She, she did Vogue actually in December, and it will be out on the stands in March. And um, I've heard that when she does her, you know, different endorsements, she does not allow them to take up too much of her time. She won't ever do anything at a big tournament. She's very specific about they want limited time. She wants to keep her eye on the ball and her goal. And I think that actually probably attracts a lot of the companies too because they know how resolute she is in her determination yeah. to be number one in tennis. Maybe that the big difference between Kornikova and Sharapova. Well, I think maybe she's learned some lessons from the people that have gone before her. Sharapova serving. Big game here, trying to stay in this second set. Oh! It's a fault. Didn't like the toss, she'll start again. <laughs> oh yes. Catches Lindsay moving to her right. What do you decide, Beth, after this point? Oh. That's why. Where to go with that shot? It looked to me like she hesitated just for a moment and waited to see which way Lindsay was going to go. Yeah, she may have taken her eye off the ball to kind of pop up and see where, Wins where Lindsay was headed. Anyway, now she's down set point. Oh! It's a fault now. Big pressure on Sharapova. Second serve. Set point. Oh, yes. Kind of giving Lindsay some of her own medicine there. They both do well with that backhand down the line. 
both have such big groundies. When they can step a foot or so inside the baseline, it's almost a winner. Yeah. Sharapova changes it up, goes out wide. Now Maria Sharapova with a chance to hold and get to 5-3. She'd like to hold this game and make Lindsay try to serve out this set. And she does. And Sharapova holds. Five games to three. Davenport steps up to try and serve out the second set. I love that motion. Boy, she gets up real high. A lot of weight into the shot. A little fist pump there. Yeah. That is a big serve, too. Yeah. 15, love. Oh, that's just about as perfect as you can get down the center. Davenport catching up on the ace category. Oh! wide oh. it's just a huge return takes the ball inside the baseline that's the kind of shot you were talking about Beth that uh, she actually kind of shortens her swing slightly on that return yeah It's not like Lindsay has a weak second serve or anything, but Maria really makes her pay when she hits one. Kind of edges up here a little bit for the second serve. Let's see if she scoots in on it. Oh, it's just too good. So you're pulling her out wide here off the court and opening up for the second shot. Lucky to get to that shot, actually. Right. Somehow get the ball in play, but. Yeah. Davenport now at set point. Her serve firing up. Not too happy with that one. <laughs> it's a fault. Oh, a big forehand. Again, that just shows the agility of someone, Maria. She's so fast for someone who's six feet tall, gets over there, totally balanced when she hits it, ready to come back into the point. Well, she takes big strides, too. I mean, one or two strides, she's moved about six or seven feet. That's true. Davenport with the ace deep, and Lindsay Davenport. The 1998 U.S. Open champion has come roaring back to win the second set at the Torrey Pan Pacific Open. When we return, they'll play one set for the title.